Hey guys, it's me, Kayla, Crafty Pen Pal Mama. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you stick around. So this video is going to be a product share um, sort of review. So I did have another video where um, I think it's, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, So Arts. I've heard others say Sue Arts. Um, so anyway, um, they contacted me to pick um, a product to review and I have another video sharing that and then after that one they uh, wanted me to um, choose again and I ended up choosing two products so the first one here um, it is it says uh, 91 piece sublimation blanks um, and it is a kit for to make keychains so yeah, this kit. This kit's awesome. It comes with so much stuff. So, first, let me see where I need to put things. My light. Should have checked that before starting. Okay, so, the example shows a keychain made with a tassel attached to each one. So, they give you all these different colored tassels. To choose from so you can attach them to your keychain and then you get this red string here you can it looks like it's probably a few yards so you if you wanted to make a necklace um, or a tag from it you have this red um, ribbon to use there's a good bit of that like I said and then so these are jump rings because there are different ways you can do these, and I will try to explain that. So these are jump rings, and they're not the thin ones. These are some heavy-duty, thick jump rings. You can see that. They're not like thin jewelry ones. They are some heavy-duty ones. So you will need pliers to put these together. So, and then you get these uh, keychains, the uh, key rings, just the rings which you can attach the jump ring to one of these or the uh, tassel. And then also you get these key rings that come with chains on them. If you wanted to attach it to the chain. You get a pretty good bit of those. And then, oh, these right here. I'm not sure what these are called, but I think... Um, the idea for this is, well, it could work on that or it could work on the bases. So these are the bases and I want to show you right quick. Um, so you get these little plastic fasteners in here. Like I said, I'm not sure what they're called, but I believe what they are intended to be used for is you have your circle here. And this bends, and you have two little score marks there. So you would bend it both sides in, and you could put your string through there, your chain, keychain, you know, whatever um, you're going to attach it to. And then you would put this hole through the pre punched hole, and then put that one through. And then it will swivel and hang from whatever material uh, you have it hanging from and I'll have to get that off with a tool probably shouldn't have snapped it together but I do believe that is what that is uh, meant for so like I said we get all these blanks in here you got your cl clips fasteners so you get five of each shape and yeah this one it shows you that you need to take off the protective film before using it. So you have a nice clean finish to start out your project with. So there's four more in there. And the thickness, pretty decent thickness. Not too thick, just good enough. So you get five of each. And there's the circles. You get these cute little houses. You could make your uh, a keychain for your house key. You know, it could be, um, you know, a small little gift for a housewarming gift for a friend, anything like that. 
you also get these little dog bone shapes and there are five of all of these yes one two three four five five of these as well and these i think these would make really cute little um dog tags and then you get these rectangles with the corner up in the the hole in the corner you also get hearts and you get squares and i didn't mention the size which you maybe can tell in my hand um, but for size reference these squares are let's see from the edge it's like right at two inches so, and then the hearts this way are right at two inches again uh, the rectangles are just before two and a half inches by one and a half inches and then your dog bones almost two and a half inches your house um, well the width of the house is two inches by almost two inches and then your circles are right at two inches as well so that is a lot of stuff in this one little kit to create whatever you like tags keychains um, and these are blanks for sublimation so um, you can use htv on these um, I'm assuming you can use regular vinyl as well um, or whatever you want to use them for really um, but uh, this is a really good kit with all the things you need in here all the supplies um, for whichever way you know you want to, to do it whether it's a keychain or a tag or with the tassel a necklace you get everything you need and I did look at other um, kits like this, and this was the best price for the quantity of materials you get in the kit. So this is going to be really fun to play with, and I will have the links for these two items in the description box in case you're interested to jump over on Amazon and throw them in your cart to check out. And it's nice it comes in this little um, top folding box to store it all in. I can label it here so I know what it is. DIY sublimation blanks. And there we go. And the next product I got is, this is so neat. It is actually color changing vinyl. So it came in this plastic sleeve here. And it is so Art's cold sensitive color changing vinyl. So the one I got is six sheets. Yes, three, four, five, six sheets here. And then they also include two sheets of transfer tape as well. And this is really cool. These are really fun to use for cups, um, for, I've seen people use decals. So when the weather changes, the decal will too. Um, I've heard you can do it on shirts. I'm not sure if this is the kind you can use on shirts. Um, but I did want to show you some of the, the color change. Um, let me see. Let me grab just one moment. Okay, so I got my cold stuff. I hope this works. So I just grabbed some of these. I have these uh, reusable ice cubes here that are frozen solid. And then I have a bottle of nice cold water as well. So I wanted to share with you guys and let you see it kind of in action. So hopefully this will work quickly. Okay, so you can see that one started to change blue. It's not wanting to stay very long with just... Hmm. Let me see if I can find a better way to show you that doesn't look like it's working very well on camera let's see okay so i found an easier way to do this um and i got an old rag here i'm just going to throw down just in case any water spills off of the bowl so 
I've got my nice cold water here. I just opened it. And since the cold, it wouldn't be through a bottle on the vinyl. It would be through a glass more than likely. And it would, you know, be cold pretty quickly. So I wanted to share this way. So I've got uh, the white vinyl here. And as like I said, these are um, cold sensitive. So I'm going to pour a little bit onto the white and you will see the color. It changes. Look at that. That is awesome. And then you can see how quickly it's turning back. Slowly, but surely, it is starting to go back. Those little droplets look so cool. Love it. So they're going away. And then we're going to use um, the hot pink next. I believe the hot pink turns purple, if I'm not mistaken. So let's give this one a go. Ooh, that is so pretty. Look at that, you guys. Oh, look at that. It's running and it's turning it as it goes. So neat. I love it. And it's slowly starting to fade back from the purple to the original pink. We won't wait until it's entirely gone, but I am going to show you, you know, for a moment um, without any sped up parts, how quickly that went back. And of course, it goes back even faster if you touch it. All right. Next we have red and there's only six of these sheets. So I hope you can bear with me, um, and check this out because it is pretty cool. So here we have the red sheet. Let's see what it does. Ooh, turns almost, it's like a darker red. It's not quite black. Might look black on camera, but it's more of a really dark maroon color. If you can see that. And then I mentioned touching it. Huh. Awesome. It almost wipes off. So neat. Say that one more time. Awesome. So I hope you can see that color. Like a dark uh, maroon, dark burgundy type color. More maybe, maybe dark red is what we can call it. Okay, and then next we have this, uh, well, there's one green and this one is kind of a fluorescent green, maybe fluorescent yellow. So when it is applied to something and the cold product is put inside of it, it turns drum rubblies, dum 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 dum. Ooh, blue. Oh, and it's more like a turquoise, a bright turquoise color, if you can see that. Neat. Huh? Ah, see, it's starting to spread. It's starting to go back. Oh, that one went pretty quick. So that is the fluorescent yellow color. And then we have this baby pink. Hopefully you can see that, that it's um, a baby pink and not white. Through my camera, it, it's looking white. So it is a baby pink. Let's see what color it turns. A bright pink. Let's see. Ooh. So that one turns from light to a darker pink. Oh, and it's going back pretty fast. Oh, these are going to be so fun to put on cups and personalize them and have fun with them. And then, last but not least, is this green color here. And let's see what this baby does. Okay. Maybe it... Let's see. It looks like it's turning orange. But it also seems like it may need to, oh, see, I'm glad I got a towel, um, have, you know, more water. 
for it to hold the color. I don't know if you can see that, but it did turn orange. Oh, and that one went back even faster. Awesome. These are so fun. I wondered how, you know, people made color changing stuff. Did not know I could get it in some vinyl and play with it myself. I am super stoked about this. Um, as I mentioned uh, with the other um, keychains, um, I will have both products linked in the description box so you can go check it out and grab some for yourself. And that's it for this video, guys. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.